You know, I remember a few years ago, some funny things used to happen to me about 1956, 57. At that time, there was no blues scene or uh, not really any kind of scene in uh, London. I used to go out and play my guitar in the streets and sing things with a pass in the hat brown. I remember one particular night, I was uh, playing my guitar in a little alleyway just off of Water Street in Soho. And uh, I got busted by the police. And this police came up and dragged me and my guitar and my hat full of pennies off to the police station. Anyway, the next day, I had to appear in Marlborough Street Police Court. And uh, it was quite a day. Police officer giving his evidence. I was proceeding in a southerly direction, my lord, when I heard uh, strange sounds coming from a uh, Ward or place, my lord. A sort of boogie woogie music was being played. On further investigation, I saw the defendant standing there with a guitar and an old hat on the floor collecting pennies. Well, I decided that uh, he was contravening a breach of the peace there. As there was a traffic jam about five miles long down there, Wardour Street, wondering what all the uh, fuss was about. So then I arrested the uh, defendant. Uh, just one moment, officer. Well, what is this bougie woogie music here you were talking about? Oh, well, my lord. So the officer getting out his notebook, obviously been doing up his homework. It's a kind of uh, jazz rhythm music peculiar to the American Negro. Oh, what was the defendant doing uh, playing this kind of music there uh, in Mordor Street? Anyway, I got off with a caution. A year's conditional discharge. But I'll always remember that policeman and his bougie woogie. So don't try to lay no bougie woogie on the king of rock and roll.
a May 45, but your head's in 53. You got what it takes, you pay heads to spin down by the old red shack. But you come on just like a fool grinning in the back of a red Cadillac. You can't come across the Oxford Bridge. 